This video review is for the Iris Scan Book 3. I did receive this in exchange for a review. In terms of what you receive in the box, you get the box, you get the scanner, there's a memory card which I've installed, you get batteries which I've also installed, um, you get a memory card reader, um, so you can just drop the memory the SD card into here. I, yeah, so that you can drive, drop the SD card in here uh, and be able to read the, the card without having to plug the scanner in. You also get the USB cable. Keep in mind that this is a mini USB, not the micro, um, which is popular with phones. This is the older style. So if you want to carry this with you, so if you travel a lot or want to scan somewhere else that's not at home, um, it's always useful to carry this cable around with you. You also get manuals and paperwork, bag to carry it in, and the install software. So, something to keep in mind, the software that's included with this is the iris scan software. It does perform OCR, optical character recognition, on uh, a lot of languages. The languages that this software cannot read would be some Eastern languages. So if it's Korean, Chinese, or Japanese, the software cannot read those languages. Um, the Iris company does offer software that can do that, and you can purchase that software to go along with this. But in this box, you only receive the, really the ability to read um, Roman Romanized languages, uh, is what I'm going to call them. So English, Spanish, German, those kinds of languages, picks it up fine, actually can read it with no problem. Uh, but Japanese, Chinese, Korean software cannot read it. It will still scan them as a photo, but it won't be able to read them in the software. So just keep that in mind if that's what you're looking for. So in terms of the scanner, uh, it's able to read, to can scan at 300, 600, or 900 DPI. Uh, for, for text, 300 DPI is perfect in most cases. Um, if you're trying to scan a photo out of a magazine or some other book, um, you know, I would probably use the 900 DPI. Obviously, you're not going to run OCR on that. Um, you know, if you just wanted the photo, you could get it. So, in terms of the way that this works, is you can scan pretty much in any direction that you want. So, you would power it up. You can scan down. You can scan up. Left, right. You can scan this way. You can scan this way. You know, any direction that you want to scan, you can scan. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that even though it's about 11, 10 or 11 inches wide, uh, it only reads the length of this glass piece, which is about eight and a half inches, um, which is fine for most text. So, but if you have something that's wider than that, just think on your feet. You can scan in this direction if you want to scan. Um, you know, really depends on what you're trying to scan. And so, um, you know, I, I can't stress enough that you really need to think on your feet when using this to get it to scan the best way possible. So, you know, depending on which direction you scan, you always have to remember that, you know, that's the direction that it's going to think is up. Um, so if I scan this way, it's going to read back, uh, up backwards. You know, so you just have to keep in mind when you pull the, the files into your computer that you may have to rotate them and things like that. So the way it works, it's especially easy on flat surfaces. You know, you always want to use it on a flat surface, but it's especially easy on something like, oh, I want a magazine cover. So I have my wired magazine here. You press the power button. You see that the iris scan pops up. It's ready to scan. Currently doing it 300 DPI. You can change the resolution uh, here. Depends on what you're trying to scan. Press the scan button. And just, oops, I got an error. So you just slowly slide it down the page. Uh, and it kind of expects you to do it at a decent speed. So you just scan it down. And it's coming up with an error again. Um, set it down, scan, and I got another error, but you get the idea, it's mostly because I'm trying to scan too fast and I'm not on a flat surface, but it did still scan, and it still looks okay. Um, so, think other things to keep in mind is the margin, so depending on what margin you're using, you know, you might be better off scanning, say, this direction you know obviously it's going it's going to look sideways in here you would just rotate it in the software um, magazines really easy to use uh, margins are usually pretty pretty good so by margin what I mean is so 
let's say I wanted to scan this page. Here's the margin. This has a lot of, of white space here. And so it's easy to just scan and get the text. Uh, where it becomes a little more difficult is when you're trying to scan something from, say, let's say my old Edgar Allan Poe book. I don't really need to scan this, but I just use it as an example. Uh, when you hold it like this, you can actually see that you know the page doesn't sit properly. And you need to make sure that you are really careful about the way that you get it to try to read the page. Um, because what happens when you're done scanning, you can see it in the photo, it, um, there is some curvature where the margin is, depending on how much further into the book you get, uh, depending on what you're trying to read. You know, I got an error there because I'm not trying to do it right, but you know you can try to read this way over across two pages if you'd like. Um, it really depends on how wide the page is. Just slowly slide it down. But here is where the, the margin is a little tough. So you can see that there's a lot of shadow there. And so when you have that shadow, it's harder for the OCR software to pick it up. Um, you know, that being said, again, it's a matter of thinking on your feet. So in this case, you know, you might be better off scanning in this direction to get it to read the way that you want. Um, you know, it, it takes a lot of work um, to get really good at using this. Uh, you definitely want to practice. If you have, you know, if you're trying to use it for company, for business work, try to get a lot of practice on a lot of different kinds of books so that you can think on your feet and actually scan in the direction that you really would get the best image quality. Um, so then once you have it scanned, you would either you can plug this into your computer via the USB port, or uh, you can take the memory card out, throw it into your computer, and, and get it to read that way. Um, run it through the OCR software, which is, again is included. You install it from the CD, and uh, you know it's pretty self-explanatory. It's fairly easy to use, fairly intuitive. Um, and then once you have it in your computer, you can take the text and um, dump it into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you know, anywhere that you want to use text. You can any any program that you would want to use text in, you could paste it into that with no problem. Um, you know, it does scan as a photo. So if you just wanted to scan a photo, you can just scan a photo. You don't need to perform OCR on it. Image quality is okay. Um, nothing amazing for that, but it, it does work. Um, and so. You know, overall, it's easy, fairly easy to use. Uh, it does have a, a, a learning curve that you have to get accustomed to to get really good scans. Um, but you know, once you have it, you can get some really nice results out of it. So I would give this four stars, four and a half. If I were being very generous, I'd give it five stars. But I, I think the learning curve is a little steep. Um, you know, and the, the battery life on it is pretty bad. Um, you know, it, I don't know exactly how many scans I can get out of it because I've been turning it on and off and, and scanning, and um, but I've been through a pair of batteries already, or a set of batteries already, um, and I probably used it for maybe an hour total, actually scanning. Uh, so the one thing to keep in mind is if you want to use this and you want to be out in the field, uh, either carry a ton of extra batteries, or the other thing you can do is this can actually be powered by your computer. So if you take a laptop um, or another tablet that can provide power via USB to this, it'll work fine that way. You know, if you have a, a power, a battery pack, uh, you might be able to use it that way as well. I don't have one to test on it right now, but um, you know, take your laptop, plug it in, it'll pull battery from your laptop. Yes, your battery from your laptop will die faster, but you can get more scans out of it. Um, so you know, again. Battery life, if it were better, you know, uh, if it were easier to get great results, definitely would be a five star product. But as it stands, it's, it's easily four, four and a half stars. Uh, I would definitely recommend somebody buy this if they need, have that desire to scan pages. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.